How's it going, everyone? We're back for another episode of The Final Whistle, and I'm going to go back and highlight some of the Inter-Miami news that came out in the past week, because there's some big news that have come out for Inter-Miami, and some really interesting stuff here, and I found out we have quite a bit of Inter-Miami fans that follow my channel, and I want to get back on that for you guys. So we found out this week that Inter-Miami look like they're going to be set to sign a new goalkeeper come before the season, hopefully. Uh, Nick Marsman from Feyenoord, the starting goalkeeper, is set to leave the club and this summer he's becoming a free agent and he has already told the club that he has already had a medical with the MLS side who owns, who is owned by David Beckham and he's told Feyenoord he's already had the medical, which is very interesting because this came out of really nowhere. I mean, I didn't see this coming. Nick Marsman's a fantastic goalie. He's had, I think it's 28 appearances for Feyenoord this season. He's been a great goalie for them. He's only 30 years old, so he could play for play for Inter Miami for quite a few years still and and a guy who's playing in Air Divisie first division and you can't really doubt that signing he's he's been there he's done that he's shown his worth he he's gonna be a free agent this summer so I mean if he doesn't so really David Beckham isn't really picking up a contract here he's not spending money he's not worrying about splashing the cash like he did with Gonzalo Higuain, Rodolfo Pizarro uh, Matthias Pellegrini, so he doesn't really have to worry about spending a lot of cash here. I'm not, I mean, wages, I'm not sure what Nick Marshman's going to want or what he's going to be taking. As a free agent, you can really just negotiate that down. But, I mean, this is really looking set in stone with, I've seen a couple reports saying that Nick Marshman has had a medical, which really, like I said, has come out of the woodwork. And the fact that he's already had the medical basically shows that he's going to sign or he's going to come in as a free agent at the end of the Air Divisi season, or he could just come over whenever he wants, if they want to sign the transfer. But, I mean, probably going to come over after the end of the Eredivisie season since he's a free agent. And, like I said, the fact he's got signed this medical already, he's basically going to sign the contract. I mean, the fact that people are saying he's set to leave, he's going to leave the club at Feyenoord, and he wants to come back to America, I mean, it's looking pretty likely that he's going to join David Beckham's new side, Inter Miami. And this team just keeps getting bigger and better. And i got another transfer to talk about in a couple of minutes here. But, like... This goalkeeper problem was a problem for me I had for Inter-Miami, and the back line was a problem last year, and Beckham's gone out and fixed that, and he's brought in a new goalkeeper here, Nick Marsman, which is basically 99% set in stone he's coming into the club. And now you got McCarthy and you got Nick Marsman, who's probably going to be a starter hands down. Nick Marsman has to be your starter if you're bringing him in. He's played for FC20, and he's played for Ultric in... in um, in the Dutch Eredivisie League. So, he's basically a shoe-in. And I want to talk about another player here. This came out, like I said, from nowhere, really. I didn't think think he was at the club. Enzo Zidane. He was playing at UD Almira uh, just before he was released there in October. And he was. everyone knows that he's Zidane Zidane's son. And he was playing for Real Madrid. He only made one appearance for them back in 2016 in the Copa del Rey. And right now, I mean, I was shocked to hear this news. He's on trial with Inter Miami. So, there's he's been playing quite well, I've heard. I mean, he's been doing really good. He's A lot of people probably think he's getting up there in age, but he's he's been around for quite a while. When you hear his name thrown around for quite a while, you'd think, oh, he's getting up there. He's probably 29, 28, 30. No, he's still 26, and he's yet to be offered a contract by the club, and he's still on trial. So, they're just seeing how he's doing if... If he's gonna be, if he's gonna get a contract, or just running through preseason, seeing what he looks like in a club, and yes, he's had a couple shaky seasons, but he's also trying to live up, live up to the hype of his father, which nobody can do, and that's a lot of pressure. And I think Inter Miami is a perfect spot for him. He's still got a lot of potential. He's still twenty six. As a footballer, you got ten years left in you, and what he's done at likes of UD or UD Almira wasn't terrible. He was okay, and you still had him at Real Madrid, which he looked like a fantastic talent. So you bring him into Inter Miami on a trial, and hopefully they sign him. I would really love for us to sign him here. You can start him on the bench, and give him a couple substitutions, see what he's got. So, I mean, I really hope that David Beckham gives him the contract and see where Enzo's at and if he wants to play for the club, because obviously if you're coming on trial to this David Beckham's side, he wants to try to get into this team. And I think he's going to work his way into a contract. And it'd be nice to see Enzo Zidane start at Inter Miami and who knows, maybe work his way back to Europe. And I think this is a great building block for him. And I hope that David Beckham's able to give him the contract and sees the potential still there in Enzo Zidane.
And my last talking point for this Inter-Miami show of this week is going to be the designated players. It came out this week that the Blaise Matuidi deal went from Tam to now he's now being classed as a designated player, which really throws a mixer into Inter-Miami's plans. So next week is when you have to have your registered roster in for the MLS, and you can't have four designated players, you need three. And the fact that Matuidi's been now named as a designated player really changes things for Inter Miami here because now you have four designated players and you can't register all four or you're going to be against league compliance. So then you have Matuidi, Gonzalo Higuain, uh, Rodolfo Pizarro, and M- Matias Pellegrini. So you only got really a couple or one or two situations you can do to fix this for Inter Miami. Since Matuidi came in, you can't really which how much he was, you can't really uh, do the allocation money. And same with Gonzalo Higuain and Rodolfo Pizarro, because they were so much money. And you're not going to ship out Gonzalo Higuain. That's just not going to happen. You need a striker. Rodolfo Pizarro's not going out. He's your face, your, one of your faces to your franchi- franchise. And same with Matuidi now. So then you're left to look at the young Argentine, Matthias P- Pellegrini. So, Pellegrini's not on a terrible amount of wages, but his salary is still enough. And the talk is... MLS wants to bring in a new U-22 league into the MLS. So there's talk that Matthias Pellegrini could go into that U-22 league, but there's some talk that his salary is going to be just a bit too much to throw him into the U-22 league, and he's not going to be able to play there. So that leaves you with a couple other options. You could either put him on loan and send him away to a couple other leagues, or you could get him transferred out, which is tough at this time of the year because you only have a couple leagues transfers open. And he's really just going to have to sit in the pine if you can't get him out. Because you got, I got it up on my computer here. You got the likes of his home country, Argentina's windows closed, Mexico's windows closed, Colombia's window closed, and most of your European leagues are currently closed for windows. So you're looking at really not much to loan him out to. The transfer windows in Brazilian and Uruguayan league are the only ones remaining open that potentially you could see him going to. So Matthias Pellegrini could get loaned out to your likes of Brazilian League or your Uruguayan League, which I think is the most likely, likely scenario since Phil Neville's come in and, he's, and the Inter-Miami board think he's still the one for the future and he looks fantastic when he does play. Yes, he did have a shaky shaky first season, but that's to be expected in such a young player. They, they like the looks of his talent. They think he's one for the future. He's, got, he's a tremendous young player and they think they're not going to get rid of him. So, your only likely chances here is a loan. So, I think we're going to see Matthias Pellegrini get loaned out to Brazil. Probably the Brazilian League and the Uruguayan League. You got like two, which is closer to his native country, Argentina. But yeah, we got some interesting news coming out of Inter-Miami. And I'm sure I'll do another video when Nick Marsman gets officially signed. And when Inter-Miami figure out this designated player issue before next week. Because it's really interesting to see what they're going to do here. But yeah, thanks everybody for watching again. I know we have a lot of Inter Miami fans, and I am one myself. I can't wait to see what we all think of this video. Drop a, drop a like and a comment, and hopefully I got some more subscribers after this video. Thank you everybody, and can't wait to see what you say. See you next one.